So I just woke up and I'm tired and everything and I look like a can of beans. But you know what? Who cares how I look like? This is how I think you look like. This right here, okay? This is how I think that you look like. So let's get to the point. You are here because you want to earn some money from game development. You want to get that bread. You want to put those chains around your neck. You want to have a nice car, pick up chicks and so on and so forth. Well, let's be honest, my friend. If you are hoping that your game will get discovered on your favorite platform, be that Steam or App Store, whatever, you are living in a dream. You are living in a dream. Unless you're very, 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 very lucky, something like Flappy Bird will not happen to you. The days where you just put a game online and get millions of downloads are over. So that means that you and I regular mortal people, we need to step up our game and market our game. Well, it's simple like that. But, you know, how can we do that? How can we do that? Well, of course, there are the traditional marketing ways where you pay a bunch of money to advertise your game and a lot of AAA companies do that and they rub that in our noses, how rich they are, how they can spend I don't know, amounts of money on their marketing that will that is more than you and I will probably earn in a lifetime. And yet, I mean, the point is, you get it. They have money, we don't. So what can you and I do about it? Well, there is something that we can do. And that is what I call the most efficient marketing. How can I get the most efficient marketing ever? Yeah especially if you don't have millions of dollars in budget, so that's good news for you and me. You see, there is one thing that people who are good at marketing do. They control the information of their customers. What does that mean? Think of it like this. Let's say you put a game on Steam. What do you do to promote your game? You are begging your subscribers. You are telling people you are, I don't know, paying them to wish list your game. Why? Well, because when your game goes on sale or if your game is still not released and you release it, all the people who clicked on that wish list button will receive what? They will receive an email from Steam telling them that your game is available. You see what I said there? From Steam, not from you. So Steam knows this and these companies know these things. That's why they don't allow you to get your customers information such as an email address because nowadays that's the best way to contact people online. So what you and I need to do, let me put my thinking cap, my, you know, my brain cap, whatever you want to call it, my idea cap, you and I need to get emails from our customers. And there are multiple ways how you can do that. The number one way is for you to have a website where people can go and you are going to bribe them, basically give them something in return for their email address. This means probably giving them a demo of your game or promising them discounts because you're not going to give them, I don't know, a tutorial or whatever like I do for my tutorials. But if you have a game, you need to think of something clever. And this is all about testing. So if you want to, you know, get people to subscribe, you're going to test one that's called the lead magnet. So the thing that you give in exchange for an email, it's called the lead magnet. Blah, blah lead magnet. So you are going to give something in return, like, as I said, a demo of your game, or I don't know, discounts or something else. Or maybe you create a small game that is playable, but lasts, I don't know, one hour, and you can give that for free in exchange for emails where you can then promote your other games. And of course, you will get better over time. The more you do this, the more you practice, the more you will get better over time. And how you can get people or lure people into your website? Well, basically, there are numerous of ways to do that. You don't have to use paid marketing. You can simply go on Facebook groups, share your game, share your idea, share your website, simply introduce yourself, share your website, tell a little bit about yourself, about your game, and people will click and go over there. Of course, this is all of this that I'm talking about is assuming that you have a playable game, that you have a nice looking game. I'm not talking about you just went to my tutorial, you copy pasted my game, you know, the 3D fight one, you put it on Steam for $200. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you creating something real, a real and a cool game. Another way or another means how you can get to your customer information well basically not directly to his information but you can message him directly because the point of all this is for you to be able to message your customers directly and not steam or any other platform 
is that you can use Discord chat. So you can use also Discords and put or send people over on your Discord channel. Because a lot of gamers, they like to connect with other gamers, especially if your game is co-op, so people need to cooperate, or people play online, or they try to beat each other's high scores, and so on and so forth, or maybe they they share tips and tricks among themselves in regards to your game, what they can do, what they cannot do, and so on and so forth. But what's important for you is that on those Discord channels, you control everything. You can, you know send a message, you can publish or announce whatever you want, and you can do it as many times as you want. Of course, you will not exaggerate with this. So you will not send five emails per day to your customers to buy your game, maybe once a week, twice a week, and so on and so forth, depending on the situation. But as I said, the more you do this, the better you will be. So these T, these T, these two streams are very important for every single game developer out there. If you want to survive nowadays as an indie game developer, as a course creator, as somebody who does anything online for selling, who sells anything online, you need to have, well, basically not these two things, but at least one of these, which is email marketing, controlling the information of your customers. But of course, in our case, you also have a Discord, or you can have a Discord, I have a Discord channel, and so on and so forth. This way, you have free marketing, you control the information of your customers, plus, if your game is on Steam, Steam will also send them emails when your game goes on sale. And because people at Steam are very nice people, they allow you to put on your sales page of your game, your website, you can put your Discord channel, that way people can click on that and also go on your website, your Discord channel, and so on and so forth, and they can see or join your email list on your Discord channel and they can see all the info afterwards. So uh, yeah, I believe that's all there is to it. I don't think I have anything else clever to say. Anyways, thank you for watching with this video. Hit that subscribe button. I'm, I'm showing like, but hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button, share the video others so the other people can see it. Also, I have a few links down below that can help you learn game development, learn game marketing and so on and so forth. Also, uh, I mean, there's nothing else. I mean, I guess stay out of jail because you cannot watch these videos if you if you're in jail. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.